Hello YouTube, so in this video I'm going to show you how to exit out of an infinite loop in Unity 3D uh, using MonoDevelop. So imagine you are working on your latest App Store hit, or in my case a simple demo game for the purpose of training. And imagine you've made a load of changes right now and you have not saved those changes over in Unity yet. And you have a load of value sitting there. And you come along and during your coding you decide to do something maybe like this. We make a script, obviously you wouldn't call it loop, <laughs> but here's a script and it's called loop for a moment. And what I'm going to do is just imagine that I needed a while loop. So I'm going to say int i equals 0, something like that, and I'm going to go while i is less than 10, uh, do something, and that something could be print i. Very fun code, okay, simple. But I forget to increment my i here. Quite a common thing to do with a while loop, which is why I always put the incrementer in immediately. But imagine you haven't put your incrementer in. So you go back to Unity and you proudly click play, and you get the spinning beach ball of uh, death like this over your Unity interface. And you think, oh, okay. Oh, that's probably because of I've forgotten to, to increment uh, my while. But how do you get out of it? Well, you could exit the process. You could kill Unity. Uh, but that's not going to help you very much with all your save changes or unsave changes, right? The problems. So how do you stop this? How do you exit the loop? Well, here's how to do it in Unity. First thing we need to do is attach this code in MonoDevelop to the running process. So go to Run, Attach to Process from within MonoDevelop. Run, Attach to Process. Click on that. Then go and find the running instance of Unity that's got the problem there, and then Attach down the bottom right. Fantastic. So you get a slightly different window then inside MonoDevelop. What do we need to do here? Well, firstly, click on the pause button at the top of MonoDevelop to pause execution. That will show you the line that's running. And of course, it's print I in my case. It's running again and again and again. So now you need to find the line where the condition is problematic. So in my case, it's while I is less than 10. That's the line that's causing the problem. So pop a breakpoint break point on your line that you wish you'd never written. <laughs> and... Uh, there you go. Now what you can do is you can hover over your, or select your incrementer, in my case, the I there. Now I'm going to hit the little uh, pin just so it doesn't keep disappearing, so the tooltip doesn't keep disappearing. And instead of I being 0, I'm going to set it to a value that makes the loop exit, so say 20. And then make sure you hit return. So now I've got a breakpoint on this while line. I've forced I to equal 20 on the next execution of this loop. Okay, and then when you click play, see what happens. Continue execution. Ah, big sigh of relief. You go back to Unity and you see that it has stopped its infinite loop. You can now stop running and save your project and uh, slap yourself on the wrist for creating an infinite loop. So I hope you found that useful. So Ben Tristam here of the Complete Unity Developer. Do go over to completeunitydeveloper.com for the best price on our full epic course. See you soon.